Rigetti Computing. The stock's down from $46 the last time I filmed to $33 to where it is today after exploding over 2,000% in the last year. So does this mean the quantum hype is finally collapsing or is this just a setup before the next massive leg up? Because if you've seen the numbers, they're wild. Revenue dropped 21%. Losses exploded over 1,200%. And yet analysts still call it a moderate buy with as much as 55% upside. Something doesn't add up. And that's exactly what caught my attention. See, everyone's watching the quarterly losses, but I'm watching what's underneath the balance sheet because Rigetti's got a current ratio of 39. That is insanely high. Too high, maybe. It means they've not only got liquidity, but also a potential efficiency problem, and nobody's talking about it. And then when you dig into what's driving their partnerships from the Air Force Research Lab to the Center for Development of Advanced Computing, there's a clear signal forming. The quantum race is no longer theoretical. It's turning commercial. Hey, what's up? My name is Rick Orford. I've been trading since 1999 and no, I'm not a financial advisor. That's a good thing. I break down the numbers so retail investors like us can make smarter, more confident decisions with our money. And that's why in this video, I'm going to be diving into Rigetti's story, why the stock dropped, what Wall Street's missing, and the one metric that could signal whether this thing rebounds or crashes even harder. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. And you all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by almost six times. Go to fool.com slash Rico to get your 10 stock picks right now. Rigetti Computing is one of the pioneers that's quietly pushing the boundaries of quantum technology. It was founded in California by Chad Rigetti, a former IBM quantum physicist. And the company focuses on building and delivering practical quantum computing systems that blend classical and quantum processing power. And their mission is simple make quantum computing accessible and usable for real-world applications. So what exactly is quantum computing? Well, unlike traditional computing, quantum computing uses quantum bits or qubits. And these can exist in multiple states simultaneously. For example, qubits can be zero or one or both zero and one. And this unique property lets quantum computers perform massive computations in parallel at the same time. And this allows it to tackle problems that would take classical supercomputers millions of years to solve. But here, quantum computing has its limits. Qubits are very unstable to work with, and quantum computers need some very special and unique environments to run in. And that's where Rigetti Computing comes in, because they're not just another tech company, they're building the bridge between today's reality and tomorrow's computing. Their products include the Novera QPU and Anka 3. Anka 3 is Rigetti's state-of-the-art 82-qubit quantum processor. Novera QPU is Rigetti's first commercially available quantum processing unit, and it's powered by the company's own Anka systems. Rigetti also hosts a cloud computing platform that lets developers use quantum processors to write and test calculations on Quill. This is their quantum instructions language. So they're not just selling hardware, they're selling the future of computation. But does any of that future translate to profit? Well, let's find out. Last time I talked about Rigetti, the stock was trading around $46. Right now, Rigetti stock trades around $33 with a market cap around $11 billion. Over the last 52 weeks, the stock has hit a high of $58.15, and it hit it on October 14th. Year to date, though, the stock is up around 117% and up 2,091% over the last 12 months. That's the kind of move that makes traders nervous 
And long-term investors, well, just a bit curious, right? Naturally, the stock is volatile. I mean, the stock has a 60-month beta of 1.64. That means it's roughly 64% more volatile than the broader market. So it gives investors the chance for larger gains when the market rises, but also bigger losses when it falls. Now, owning Rigetti, of course, is like holding a rocket. Great when it launches, brutal when it drops. So with the stock trading around $33, investors might be wondering what's happening under the hood. And this is a question that's come up in my Discord recently. So let's dive into Rigetti's most recent numbers. And trust me, what's inside is going to surprise you. Rigetti released its third quarter financial results on November 10th, and reported revenue was down around 21% to $1.9 million. At the same time, the company's net losses were up around 1,258% to $201 million, compared to $14.8 million in the same period last year. And all of this translates to a loss of $0.62 cents a share. That's a staggering loss. And it's where most people stop looking, but this is what they're missing. Management reported that the decline in revenue was mainly due to lower income from collaborative research projects, materials, and professional services. The company's performance was also affected uh, by the expiration of the National Quantum Initiative Act in September of 2023, with funding delays continuing as the bill awaits authorization in Congress. But the biggest portion of the loss had nothing to do with real cash. $182 182 million of it was an expense tagged as change in fair value of derivative warrant liabilities. What does that mean in English? Well, it's not money that the company burned. It's a paper loss from the valuation of its stock-related warrants. And this underscores why you need to look deeper into a company's financials before making a decision. Not only that, Rigetti's CEO said that the company saw strong momentum this past quarter, and that was driven by rising demands for on-premise quantum computers and a series of new collaborations. He shared that Rigetti's open and modular architecture makes it easier to integrate cutting-edge technologies, such as those from the Air Force's Research Lab-funded projects and with QFOX, which focuses on advancing supercomputing quantum networking. Rigetti also reminded us about new partnerships with the Center for Development of Advanced Computing and that from Montana State University as proof that the quantum industry is entering a more mature phase and that Rigetti continues to play a key role in supporting academic and government research. Finally, if we're wondering if Rigetti can keep the lights on, Well, they have a current ratio of around 39. That means that they have $39 in current assets to cover every dollar of current liabilities. That is a ton of runway that proves Rigetti has the capacity to cover their short-term obligations. But such an unusually high ratio may also suggest that the company is holding an excessive amount of liquidity, or maybe they're underutilizing its resources, which could signal inefficiencies in asset deployment. So Rigetti is not nearly broke. They're just sitting on tons of cash. And lots of folks wouldn't mind being in that position. I say the question is, can they use it wisely before investors lose patience? Okay, so that's what I got for Rigetti's Q3 financials. Of course, the real question now is, Rigetti a buy at these levels? Well, consider this. A consensus among seven analysts covering Rigetti currently rated a moderate buy. And it's a moderate downgrade from last month's strong buy. The average score is 4.29 and has gone down over the last three months. But the rating does come with a high target price of $51, and that suggests almost 70% upside from the stock's latest closing price. Remember, though, despite a tough quarter marked by a steep revenue decline and significantly higher losses, the company's leadership remains confident about its long-term trajectory. The company continues to see growing interest in their on-premise quantum systems and has secured new partnerships that strengthened their position in both academic and government sectors. 
Rigetti's strong liquidity. And remember, they have a current ratio of 39. It shows that they have the financial flexibility to navigate these challenges, although that high figure may also hint at room to deploy assets more efficiently. They need to be spending more money, maybe. So I say this story's not over. It's just entering the next chapter. But what about you? Do you think Rigetti is a a buy on the dip play? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you found this video helpful, do like and subscribe because it'll help others find it as well. It'll support the channel and you won't miss out on any of my future deep dives. Well, folks, that's it for me today. I wanted to thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.